Hey guys, we are Sean and Christy. This is Long Long Honeymoon, the long, longest running RV channel on the interwebs. Today, we have a fantastic topic for you, planning a big RV trip. So by planning, we're talking about going beyond just finding campsites. We're talking about mapping out an entire journey, if you want, with daily driving distances, fuel stops, points of interest, even restaurants, activities that you can pursue in addition to campsites. So it can really help you get a much better handle on your daily expenses and what every day is going to be like. There are a lot of people out there who really enjoy planning out every aspect of an RV trip in advance, down to the last drop of fuel. Just ran out. They just died. Holy cow. Can you even get us off the road? Holy cow. Oh, sweet Jesus. Unbelievable. And as many of you know, in the past, we have not been big planners. We love the spontaneity of RV travel. However, in the post-pandemic era, it makes sense to do some homework and do some planning. First up, I have a really high-tech resource to show you. Some genius out there had the brilliant idea of taking ink and printing images onto paper and then wrapping it together with a spiral binder. I think it's called a book, <laughs> or in this case, an atlas. This is the National Geographic Road Atlas Adventure Edition, highly recommended. And even if you have all sorts of high-tech tools that you use to travel these days, it makes a lot of sense to have a road atlas. We love traveling with the road atlas, and this is probably the best one that we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's ever going to be replaced by looking at a phone or a computer screen. Mm -hmm. There's something about viewing a map that gives me a sense of distance and perspective. And what's great about this Adventure Edition road atlas is that a lot of uh, really interesting destinations are highlighted in red. So you can browse the map, use it to plan your trip, and you're going to find activities and things to do that are spotlighted for you in this atlas. These are 20 bucks on Amazon. We will put a link to this specific atlas in the description of this video. This is a no-brainer. I don't care who you are. If you're planning to do any serious road tripping with your RV, You've got to have a road atlas on board. Especially if you have a phone die or, you know, you get somewhere where you don't have any cell coverage or your GPS dies. You'll have a way to figure out where the heck you are. You young whippersnappers <laughs> out there. The battery life in this thing is incredible. Yeah. Now shifting from the road atlas, we're going to show you first and foremost what seems to be the premier RV trip planning software slash app out there. So really it's a website, it's RV Trip Wizard. They do have an app that you can use, but really for your planning purposes, you're gonna wanna use the website. It is super duper detailed. It asks every question about your RV, how tall it is, how wide it is, how much does it weigh, are you carrying propane, what your miles per gallon are, what your tank capacity is. It uses all this information to help in calculating your trip costs because it doesn't just calculate your distance and stops, it's going to also calculate how much your trip is gonna cost you. So you can put in what you wanna spend per day on campgrounds, what you wanna spend per day on food, miscellaneous purchases. So if you are somebody that is really detailed in your planning for those accountants out there that wanna know every nickel and dime and where it's going, RV Trip Wizard is gonna be the resource for you. It's not cheap, it's $49 a year to join, but you get access to a a lot of information. Every kind of campground you can think of. You can filter by campground really specifically. So you can specifically look for national parks, state parks, county parks, city parks, privately owned, Good Sam parks, Passport America parks, a thousand trail parks. So you can get really specific in what you're looking for along your route. And then you can also look for points of interest, things to do, places to see. It has lots and lots of detail. So if you are are looking for really detailed trip planning software, RV Trip Wizard, I think is probably gonna be the most detailed that you're gonna find. And it is really easy to use, it's very intuitive. It comes with access to RV Life GPS app, which is what you're gonna use to look at your RV Trip Wizard trip 
on your phone. But you can also, I believe, export your trip to a GPS if you want. You can export it to Google Maps if you want. You can email it to yourself. You can share it with other people. So there are a lot of options for how you can see your trip. But there isn't a specific RV Trip Wizard app. You're going to have the RV Life app. So that's confusing to some people. So just know that. You're also going to get ad-free access to campgroundreviews.com. So most of the campgrounds that you're going to find within the RV Trip Wizard app, it's going to give you access to reviews of that campground. And it's going to be reusing the reviews that are found on campgroundreviews.com. So it's just sort of all integrated in together. You can do a free seven-day trial of RV Trip Wizard. Sign up, try it for seven days, and cancel within that time period period if you decide you don't like it. But overall, I've been really impressed with it. Even as a non-planner, I could see us using this. And full disclosure, we are affiliates for RV Trip Wizard. So if mm-hmm. you decide to purchase it, you can purchase it through our link, and that'll help support Long Long Honeymoon. We're also going to discuss some free resources that are available to you later in this video. Right. And nobody gave us our membership. We paid the $49 to join, so we did that with our own money. But RV Trip Wizard really does seem to be the most sophisticated of all these services that we have found. All right. Next up, which is technically paid, but you're probably already a member of Good Sam anyway. It's the Good Sam Trip Planner. So if you have joined Good Sam, which means you you joined at a Camping World store to get the Camping World discount, or you're a Good Sam member to get discounts on your camping, you can use that same login information to access the Good Sam Trip Planner. A Good Sam membership is $29 a year, and if you join for multiple years, you get a, a discounted rate. So... We, we are not affiliates. We don't get any sort of kickback for that, just FYI. The trip planner is only on the website. They do have a Good Sam app where you can find Good Sam campgrounds, but it's not as detailed as just using the Good Sam trip planner on the Good Sam website. You can alter your route on the map. You can find points of interest, but there's only a few to pick from. It's like, where's the nearest camping world? So, I mean, I don't know if I really count <laughs> that as a point of interest. It does give Good Sam directory ratings for the parks. So you remember the big campground review, Good Sam, you know, it looked like a phone book that we used to use back in the day that gave you ratings on all different campgrounds. It was like the trailer life guide. Basically, it's that that you get access to through their website. And so you can read the details about the campground and know, you know, what kind of amenities they have, how clean it is, that sort of thing. So that's nice. It does actually show KOAs, which I think is interesting because KOA does have a trip planner that is terrible terrible, but it doesn't show anything but KOA campgrounds. So it's just kind of funny to me. Good Sam does show all kinds of campgrounds, not just Good Sam parks. So it shows national parks, state parks, all those sorts of things. So it's actually a pretty good trip planner if you're not willing to pay for RV Trip Wizard. If you happen to be a Good Sam member, it's an additional benefit of your membership. Yeah. Absolutely. Next up are just some free options that are out there that aren't super fancy, but it's going to be a way for you to plan from point A to point B. Google Maps. Come on, it's been around forever. It's super simple to use. If you use Google Maps on their website or on a computer, you can actually search for campgrounds in the locations that you're looking at. So that's kind of nice. Whereas on your phone, you can't really do that. The other one that you could look at is called Free Roam. They have an app and a website. It's pretty basic, but you know, it's easy to use. It does does give some more detailed information on camping areas, like it'll tell you what the cell phone coverage is for a certain campground, or how crowded the sites are, or how busy it is, how noisy it is. So it does have a few more, you know, details as far as the campground that you're looking at, as far as reviews and that sort of thing. So that's interesting. Free roam is totally free. <laughs> <laughs> but some of these apps have a free app, and then yes. you pay for upgrades and for access to more information within the the app. Yeah, so the ones you're thinking of with that regard are Road Trippers and To Go RV. I guess I'm saying that right. It's To Go RV. Um, both of those have the plus versions that are paid. So there's a free Road Trippers, there's a free To Go RV, and then there's uh, Road Trippers Plus and To Go RV Plus, and those are paid. And of course, they offer more resources. I think Road Trippers is more about the road trip itself. So it's got a lot of like weird places to stop, you know, like it's where you're going to find like the world's largest ball of twine and, you know, a weird quirky museum along the way. So if that's important to 
you, that would be a good resource to use. But again, uh, the free version is very limited. If you want to really get access to the resources, you're going to have to pay for it. If you're like me, you've heard about these GPS systems, but maybe never really experienced traveling with one. Next up, I want to give a shout out to our RV GPS. We do travel with this Garmin RV 890. What I really love about this GPS is not so much the navigation, ironically. When we're traveling with this, we typically have two GPSs going simultaneously. We'll use Google or Waze or like a phone GPS yeah. in addition to the Garmin. Yeah. Because sometimes even with these GPS units, it's helpful to have more than one route option yeah. when you're traveling. But what I love about the Garmin are all of the RV specific features. There is even a trip planner built into this GPS. Mm -hmm. And for those of you out there who enjoy planning out your maps on that Garmin Basecamp software, this is compatible with Basecamp. So you can plan out your stuff on Basecamp and I believe import it into the GPS. Mm -hmm. It's also got all sorts of just RV specific features like campgrounds and iOverlander. A lot of you have mentioned that you like to use iOverlander, which is a free website and app. This Garmin RV890 actually integrates iOverlander sites and stops into the GPS. So there's a lot of features like that in here. There's ultimate public campgrounds, TripAdvisor, got KOA, all sorts of just great features built into the GPS. I think yeah. Garmin has done an excellent job putting RV specific features in the GPS. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I think it's just sitting down and familiarizing yourself with it and learning how to use all of those features because you get a GPS and you look at the map and you're just like, okay, I'm going to put in my address of where I want to go. And that's sort of all you think about a lot of times, but it's really digging into those different uh, screens and sort of learning all the features that are hidden in there that can be super helpful. You know, just make your trip a little more, a little more pleasurable. Yeah. So I would recommend it overall. It's not perfect. Uh, not I don't think there's any GPS out there that's perfect. We've yet to find that. But it's the best that we've found for RV travel. Yeah, absolutely. There are some other apps that you can look at that will be helpful in planning your RV trip. You know, last week we did the video where we talked about finding specific campsites, and that's where we talked about Campendium and RV Parky, and Harvest Hosts. There's also Boondockers Welcome. There's All Stays. There's I Overlander. Like he was talking about. All those are great, but a couple of others that can be helpful for your actual travel days are Gas Buddy. Scrub those bugs. Where you can find the nearest gas station and it will actually tell you the prices on the fuel. For those of you penny pinchers out there who want to find the absolute lowest price on fuel, you can use Gas Buddy. Uh, it will show you all the different fuel prices at different fuel stations in your area. Yeah. And so you can pick out the lowest price. And the really helpful thing about Gas Buddy to us is it also will show you what stations have diesel fuel. So if you are a diesel truck driver or diesel motorhome driver or whatever, just know that you can search specifically for diesel stations and you won't waste your time going to places that don't have a diesel pump. Yeah, there's nothing worse than pulling over and going <laughs> to a station and then discovering they don't have diesel. The other one that I was going to mention is called iExit. There used to be a next exit book that we used to carry around with us that would list all the features at each exit off the interstate. And it, again, it was like carrying a phone book around with you. Well, now there's an app called iExit and it's free. And so basically you can have it find where you are on your current location, or you can look based on interstate and it will tell you the, the services at the different exits. So you can find out that at exit 310, there's going to be a uh, Cracker Barrel and there's going to be a Chevron and there's going to be a Walmart and yada, yada, yada. So very helpful. Another one that you can look at is called Windy, and it's windy like W-I-N-D-Y, and that's going to tell you wind conditions of where you are. Now, for us in the South, that's usually not a big deal unless there's like a hurricane coming through, but if you're somewhere that's really flat and wind factors are really something that you should be worried about when you're driving, like South Texas or Nebraska. Or Utah. Yeah, Utah, places like that where they do have wind advisories. It can be very helpful for those days when you're going to be traveling through those areas because you can find out if there's going to be dangerous winds in your area.
And lastly, there's one called Mountain Directory. It's actually a paid app. You can also buy a book if you would rather have a, a book that you can look through. But it's going to tell you about mountain grades and, you know, steep driving conditions on your route. So if you're somebody that's really worried about a 10% grade coming up and you want to know about it in advance, that's the app to get. It's not cheap, but if you're really concerned about it, it's worth it. And I will point out the Garmin GPS will give you advance warnings if you're approaching a steep grade, yeah. which is pretty nice. But it's only a few miles in advance. Yeah. So not necessarily enough in advance for you to alter your route. Yeah, this really <laughs> shows how detailed uh, it has gotten that you can get a wind app, a mountain grade yeah. app. I mean, that's pretty another remarkable. One that, another one that you can get that actually I downloaded last year and it's free is a fire and smoke map. And it was because of all the wildfires that were happening out west. We were trying to see what the smoke conditions were so we would know if we were going to be going to camp somewhere that was going to be miserably smoky or not. So there's apps for everything. They I mean, really it's are. really just... Just start Googling and you'll find specifically what you're looking for, really. So we'll run through some additional resources that we've mentioned previously on our channel. One is Harvest Hosts. Harvest Hosts is a club, basically, that you join. And once you're a member, you can stay at different locations for free, basically. Now, most of these locations are places of business. They could be farms. They could be museums. They could be brew pubs or wineries. Mm -hmm. And most of these places have shops or stores. So, you know, you're kind of expected to go in and give something back by making a purchase at the store, mm -hmm. drinking some beer, having a glass of wine. Yeah, it's usually not anything that's much of a burden. No, it's yeah. usually actually a lot of fun. So that can really add an interesting dimension to your RV travel. There's no hookups in most of these places. I mean, this yeah. is, it, you're purely totally dry, camping. dry camping, boondocking. You know, typically you're probably not going to have any kind of water or sewer or anything like that available. Mm -hmm. It's a place to park overnight that will be interesting and a fun experience. Right. Usually much quieter than, you know, a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart parking lot of that sort of thing. And usually they're in pretty scenic locations. And yes, we are affiliates with Harvest Hosts. We'll have a link to Harvest Hosts beneath this video. A lot of you have mentioned Boondockers Welcome. We have not used Boondockers Welcome, but apparently it is a way to find boondocking spots that are by, privately, owned. privately owned. So maybe we'll be trying that later this year yeah. to see how it goes. All right. I don't always get a printed receipt seat for fuel but on this occasion I think I will <laughs> <laughs> oh what an adventure say thank the Lord right yep man we barely made it here that was divine intervention we did PTL and thank you Seymour <laughs> We have not traditionally been great planners, but in this current climate with so many people RV traveling, planning is becoming more and more important. We ask you, what resources do you use when you're planning an RV trip? That's right. If you are an RV planner yourself, what is your favorite way to plan? And if you've got something that we didn't mention already, give us the details on it. As always, thanks for tuning in to Long, Long Honeymoon, the long, longest running RV channel on the interwebs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. If you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button down below. We would love to have you be a part of Loloho Nation. And until next time, what do we say? Loloho. Lolo. Lolo. We continue to receive a number of questions about the RV Nano Shield ceramic coating installed at Vinnie's North Bay Airstream Repair. If you're interested in having your Airstream covered with a protective layer of ceramic glass, the best in the industry, contact Vinnie or you can call Brian. And yes, you can tell them Sean and Christy sent you.